Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? With three pretty hype episodes this week, we gotta get into it real quick, and I hope you guys enjoy. But Fire Force starting it out because of how epic it was. Not only was it epic, we got to see the brothers going at it and just what type of fight it's truly gonna be. And one that I pretty much predicted in my head, or I'm not sure if I got it out on the last video, but I was pretty sure the the younger brother still had a huge advantage because our main character still has to do something that takes time, and this character stops all time. So, yeah, there's not a lot of time you can use if there is no time, right? So, that was actually pretty hype and dope at the same time in the case of how they played on each other's abilities and pretty much seeing the weakness of the younger brother so we can actually understand that he's not all like all unbeatable it looks like every time he kind of uh <clears throat> every time he kind of starts using his ability he starts steaming really bad so and what steam means the body is heating up quite a bit and then letting out the steam somehow so somehow steam is getting out of him and you know there's not a lot of we don't have too many holes in our body but you know steam also can just uh, it's like evaporating so it's interesting to see that you know they're trying to give a little bit of a hint to what his weakness just might be um, and in this case, it might just be the fact that he has to use his ability not that many times because he will overdo it. Um, I mean, which is normal, right? We've already seen multiple people, uh, and what it looks like once they overdo something, you know, like they overdo something, they clearly start to get burnt. Their body starts to kind of like charcoal up and stuff like that like they're just getting roasted inside their own body or something along those lines so it's pretty clear to me what's going on <laughs> in the case of his abilities now in the case of like having a weakness and being able to be beat but the only problem is it's one of those abilities where over time he beats himself pretty much like to not be able to use that technique against uh, the main character he would have already lost in my opinion or at least had a longer drawn out fight with doing less damage to the main guy because he can't just stop time and get a free swing in every single time like we've been seeing him do but as a whole um, amazing stuff so far uh, I'm glad they didn't end it with just this one episode seeing how it was mostly fi focused on the non-powered up people and giving them a moment so to just be like oh that's also throwing the end game of the battle that a lot of people want to see in the same episode you know that would have been i been mean, kind of lackluster to me but the unpowered fight was actually pretty dope at the end of the day which i was surprised by um I wasn't too surprised because the captain is super dope and I've always loved how he kind of goes about handling things so to see him doing stuff that I pretty much knew he would do aka um, sacrificing himself uh, in, in the moment's notice of needing to take the bullet so someone else uh, can be saved and another moment of just getting the crap beat out of him by the tentacles and then at the same time throwing a grenade in to get at least an attack off while taking so much damage um you know all of these different things and then the really the really kind of dumb part was watching falcon or the new guy run up with this penguin mechanical head and headbutt and then that was it like it was it felt like the most uh weirdest use of this like animation but at the same time i can understand why you would want to do that right like i understand 
that there's people out there that want to see stuff like that, and it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, ugh. like, it just didn't look that good, in my opinion, if you ask me, but at the same time, uh, it didn't really matter, because there wasn't much they could do with these characters that didn't have any flame powers in the first place, now they're fighting a captain who also is capable of manipulating others that have these flame powers that have these generational powers and make them feel like they can only use their abilities for them not only that she wasn't even trying to protect him and he already had instilled some stuff into her feelers i guess to make sure they always protect him so he was just a lot of the steps of the game uh, ahead of the game and then at the end of the day he doesn't show <laughs> any progress of slowing down because he then finds out that you know his mission's up of buying time so what does he do he just dips like this is one of the most aware characters that he hears more people coming he could barely hand you know i guess he wasn't even trying to handle them which give it more it gave me more of an understanding of why this captain i guess could have been losing or he should be doing what he was doing in this week's episode. Like, it was all methodical planned out instead of it just being him kind of showing that he's not that strong and, and maybe showing us, you know, why he joined on the other team when he can't really uh, do much on his own, seeing how he had to have someone with him that did most of the work, and then when she was gone, he didn't do really anything afterwards. So, besides use her... Uh, to get the upper hand, which then he still loses, so, he was kind of whack, um, but I could tell that off of him using all the characters he's been using since the first time we've ever met this captain, um, the way he uses them, I should say, like, because the other captain uses all his characters, but he's not trash, like, he's not clearly afraid of a fight in the case of it drawing out and losing at the end or anything like that he's just one of those people that oh if i could win this fight i'm gonna win it and be be in a position where i'm always not gonna i'm not gonna lose like that's the kind of fighter he seems like i don't want to be in any position where i seemingly like, can find myself losing so i won't do that you know that's kind of that's kind of what i get off of him um but overall fire force is amazing in the case of where they're going with the brothers and to see this really trippy drawn out sketchy universe or dimension as the younger brother says he controls he said he controls his own universe right and i don't think it was uh coincidence that after our main character got more and more of the understanding that the burst link opened and now he might actually get to see what it looks like inside of this universe he's speaking of right like now we might be able to see actually what the younger brother sees instead of just you know hearing him say oh yeah i got i can control my own destiny or something along those lines right so this should be relatively interesting i don't know what i would say uh will pop off at the end like they definitely shouldn't end up with the brother like they shouldn't save him fully and get him out of there uh, and the things that should probably happen is our main character being pushed to the limits and maybe seeing him pull off something cool, but I don't see him winning necessarily. I mean, he could win, but then get blasted at the same time, right? Like absolutely annihilated in some way, shape or form. And it'd be a free, like it'd be half and half. Like some people lost some teammates while... They also, our team gained some teammates while this other team lost them, right? So, it could be like that. I am not fully sure. But I definitely want to know what you guys are feeling in all of this. If you guys are enjoying yourselves. If you have dropped Fire Force, but you're just one of the OGs keeping up with your boys' videos. To see maybe if some of the Fire Force drops and I talk it up and you want to watch it. I, I've had a lot of people do that as well. Um, but regardless, guys, I am so happy to be just making content and talking to you guys, but all good things do come to a close end, and with 
time I will be making less of the daily content uh, quick like, like every single episode you know I gotta I'll have to start working soon and with work I don't know how much of the animes I'll actually be able to watch and record you know before I gotta wake up yet again to go back to work and stuff like that so I do hope that my channel doesn't just die because of something I have to do in real life to make more money to make my videos look better um, but overall I hope that you guys are having an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this and I will definitely talk to you as soon as possible so with all that being said thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one so with that being said peace no bro I wanted to strain stage transition I'm not gonna die but we'll have enough time I have no sprint he's he's f zoning me out they know I'm trying to go for it sucker I'm just gonna have to bop you then young man Wow, I did zero damage. What the heck? They nerfed the crap out of that. Why did all that miss? No. <laughs>